What's going on everybody? So welcome to Doodles Tree. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do 3D tracking in After Effects in a few steps. So without adding much ado, let's jump into the tutorial. This is basically the tutorial of 3d tracking so uh, let's start uh, so first of all I will take a new composition so uh, the thing is like width is 1920 by 1080 and uh, duration is I mean like 30 seconds will be fine and I'm hitting okay so uh, now what I will uh, do is like I will just uh, drag this particular video on this composition okay so here is my stock video as you can see here so this is a little stock video I have okay okay so now what I will do is like I will go to uh, okay now you have to check on the right hand side of your uh, panel like if you are not getting the tracker option here then you should go to windows and you will find tracker here and just check this one if you if it is unchecked otherwise you will find it on the right side like tracker so i will click on tracker and i will select this video and i will click on track camera so now what it will do is it will analyze the background and track the camera and uh, will create some tracking points so that we can use our own animation images or anything which we want to use in 3d space so now as you can see this this is progressing like it will uh, do uh, till the whole frames are done so now it is 117 on 23 so it will be done in a minute so we have to wait till that So basically this is a very quick tutorial and a very easy to do as well. So whenever you want to use uh, your own logo or something, an uh, image or something on 3D space, uh, suppose on the wall or on the floor or anywhere you want to use it on the video. Okay, so now the, you know, like this, uh, you, you can see that all the tracking is done. So you can check here, that those things are all the track points. It has created so these little uh, things and if we just uh, drag our uh, you know like a pointer into those surface areas you can see this little uh, you know red thing so whenever you want to place your logo or your uh, video or anything you can you have to just click on that area so what I will do is I want to use it here on this surface so I'm just clicking it here and while clicking it here I I will just right click and uh, here you can create also the text and the camera but here I will not create that I will create solid and camera okay so now as you can see that solid has been created so uh, before I uh, edit before I will edit this part what I will do I will right click it and I will pre-compose it okay so that we can just uh, work on that particular composition or we can edit whatever we want to so uh, I'm hitting okay so now this is a, a new composition uh, that is uh, pre-composed so I'm just clicking on this particular new composition and here I need it in 1920 and when 1080 format so at the present at present it is 1080 by 1080 so I have to edit the composition first so first of all I'm deleting the you know like the uh, solid color and I will go to the transparency grid and then I will go to composition composition settings and here I will make it 1920 by 1080 and hit ok so now I will place my animation or anything which I want to place or I want to work on the 3d space so I will go to the project menu and I'm dragging this 
particular animation the subscribe button animation which I want to use here so this is a quick animation you can see so what I will do is I will just just uh, dragging it a little bit left side so I'm just changing the position of this so here is this one okay so this is the thing now I will go back to my composition and so uh, as you can see that uh, here this has been placed but I have to adjust a few things to uh, get the desired result so what I will do is like I will click on this uh, transform thing and it will get a uh, different kind of you know a combination here so first of all I will just uh, increase the scale a bit so that I can see this and I will adjust the position a little bit okay and I have to play with the orientation as well so I want it this way or this way yeah this way is fine and yeah this is fine and the position I want it farther so I'm just making it some 8000 8000 yeah so maybe increase the scale a little bit yeah that's it and uh, just dragging it here okay and so basically you have to play with this uh, you know like these transform things so that you can get the desired result so now if I check it here little bit further yeah so basically you have to check with that which actually works good now it's fine I think yeah, good looking good okay so so here the video is being ending here yes so here okay so let's check it one more time check it one more time So this was the tutorial, so it's a quick and easy one. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you have liked and enjoyed this video. And if you have liked this video, please give your positive feedback and comments in the comment section. And also let us know about if you have any special requirement of any kind of tutorial which you want to see. Also check my other tutorials about Photoshop Illustrator, After Effects and Corel Draw to learn more about the design tools. So be happy, be positive, be awesome and be creative. I will see you in the next video. Until then, 